The whole town's been destroyed. And completely deserted as well. This won't do. Hmm, there's something here that troubles me more than the lack of people. How accurately can you analyze this debris, Mr. Zelumpus? You wanna, uh, you want me to analyze it? Like, measure how old the materials are and stuff? Just so. While I do have some degree of familiarity with the subject, I can only do so much. Certainly nothing compared to analysts that employs complex magecraft. We needn't settle for my amateur attempts since we have a mage with us. Now I see. Not really my specialty, but I can give it a shot. Basically just need to, to figure out this stuff's archaeological period, right? Yes, that will do nicely. I suspect that this debris was created through magecraft rather than human hands. Magecraft? Well, I say debris, but I mean the entire town. But let's wait for Mr. Zalumpus's analysis before I say more. Is this some kind of joke? What is it? The short version is that Holmes was right. This whole place was made with Magecraft. Probably a caster's territory creation or something like it. A normal mage would really struggle with something like this, but a caster could do it pretty easy, I think. This town would seem to be a mid to late European design. But, as I suspected, something isn't right. While it does appear to be deserted, as Count Vlad said, I can discern no traces of anyone ever having lived here to begin with. The hell are you talking about? Think of it like a movie set. There are faint signs of use, but nothing like the wear and tear one might expect to see over time. I don't know if it was a mage or a servant, but someone built this whole town in an instant. That is my working assumption. I see. That's unusual, but not outside the realm of possibility. Then let me ask you something, detective. Please do. Even if a servant or something similar to one did create this town, what destroyed it? Well, we can certainly rule out wildfires as well as any other natural disaster. What we do see are holes, likely from arrows, in the walls, nicks from swords and other blades, and ruts from wagons laden with heavy supplies. A scene we are all too familiar with. Servants fought a battle here. I thought so. Master, everyone, please be careful. I just picked up some servant signals and they're heading straight for you. Hold on, getting a total now. There. Mash? Th this can't be right. Da Vinci! I see it too. This isn't a malfunction or any kind of glitch. Wokey, listen to me very carefully. There's an army of servants closing in on you. Did, did you say an army? I did. There are about a hundred of them, and they're all servants. What? Let me be certain I heard you correctly. You're saying these aren't beings that rival servants in power, but actual servants, is that right? That's right, I rechecked the reading several times. Now hurry up and get out of there, or hide. No. Now I'm seeing another servant army. It's about the same as the first. Another one? Hmm. It would seem the two armies mean to surround this town. Please hurry. They'll be there any moment. All right.
right? Let's hide. Kodak, master. Since neither Count Vlad nor I are assassins, I doubt it will be able to completely erase our presence. And if we stay together like this, they'll be even more likely to find us. I would like you two to hide somewhere separate. Count Vlad and I will find our way to get through this. If worse comes to worse, use a command spell. If nothing else, that will allow me to turn the situation around. Got it. Also, there's something I would like to ask of you. Something Count Vlad and I will be doing ourselves. What's that? Pay attention to the servants heading this way. Try to find out what they're thinking and what they are trying to accomplish. What we need right now is information. Every action they take, every word they speak, could be invaluable. Will do. Thank you, Miss Wilkie. Then we shall meet again later. This ought to be far enough. Now let's dig a hole and hide in it. This ought to be far enough. Now let's dig a hole to hide in. Shall I bring some more rubble? Good idea. This should be big enough to hide us, but not so much that it looks out of place. Got it. That should do it. Okay, Wilkie, get in and stay put. A mouse's hideaway, a cat's shortcut, a time shallow, thinking can trump wisdom. What was that? A camouflage spell. I don't know if it'll work on servants, but it's better than nothing. Wow, that's amazing. Are you kidding me? It's one of the most basic spells there is. I haven't even been able to cut down my chanting time for it, so it's too slow to use on short notice. But I guess that doesn't matter now. Anyway, it has some soundproofing built in, but keep your voice down anyway. I've heard there's a different school of Maidraft. Hmm? So what? You want to know more about mine? If you don't mind. Why not? Not like it's gonna last much longer. Hell, it's practically dead already. Yeah, it's not like telling you about it, it's gonna change anything. It's anti-beast magecraft. Spells meant for fighting, well, wild beasts. Humanity has always been its own worst enemy, but beasts are a close second. An ordinary person could never beat a wild beast with his bare hands. So it's not really a shock people came up with Magecraft to help with that. So you can probably guess how it fell into decline, yeah. Not much need for spells to track or chase animals these days. Plenty of substitutes for that. Of course, these spells can still come in handy against wild beasts. But then there aren't all that many of them out there anymore, either. That's what happens to all Magecraft eventually, though. Spell change with the times, either becoming crazy strong or so weak they're useless. Didn't you ever think about giving up being a mage? Oh. What? No, I can't believe you're even asking that. Next piece of free advice. Asking any normal, halfway decent mage that question is a fast way to die. You're basically telling them, Your whole life is pointless, why don't you just die already? I didn't mean to. Eh, not much I can do to you right now, not with this collar. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I should probably work on how snippy I get one of these days. Anyway think we've run out of time to talk. I tried to get as far away from the town center as I could. 
Now we just have to hope they don't find us. They're here. <gasps> According to our scouts, we'll be facing another medium-sized force. The plan is to hit them with a full volley of our archer's noble phantasms while the riders flank them on both sides. The saber and lances will keep them pinned down in the center and attack while the riders have them confused. Make sure you all have your noble phantasms ready to go when you need them. I can't believe it. They really are servants. What do you think their true names are? No clue, but they're all from different eras and countries, that much is clear. So how the hell are they operating as a single army? Damn it, I can't believe it. What the hell kind of singularity is this? For that matter, how can there be this many servants? Ley lines, even holy grails can only summon so many. Could they all be rogue servants? The kind without masters? Yeah. You must have run into several of them across the singularities and lost belts you've been to. I'm talking about servants that are exceptions to the rule. The kind summon from their ties to a land or a holy grail. Remember Beowulf in the Russian Lost Belt? He was a rogue servant. But even if that explains how they got here, it doesn't explain how they could be so damn many of them. I mean, there's 200 servants right here between these two armies alone. No wonder the town didn't survive. We might not be safe even out here then. Hopefully, I picked a spot far enough from the battlefield. At least they're not actively looking for us. So screw it at this point. Que sera sera. Sure you're not just giving up? Maybe a little, sorry. I'll try to remember that we've got a common interest now and act like it. Looks like they're about to get started. Archers at the ready! Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Command spell loaded. Activate Nova Phantasms. First Phantom Spirit Levels, then Heroic Spirit Levels. Command spell loaded. Activate Noble Phantasms. Lightning Longbow. What? Archers to the rear, hurry! We inflicted minimal losses. Damn, they must have heroic spirit level casters buffing them. Alright everyone, this is it, hold your ground. Heroic spirit level? Keep your damn voice down. But yeah, I wonder what he meant by that too. Hold the line here too. G shit. Can't hold on much longer. Keep shooting. Buy as much time as you can. We're taking massive casualties. Riders, are you still not ready? We just arrived at the designated coordinates. We'll charge them right now. What the? What is it? A squad of assassins just ambushed our right flank. It's going to take some time to regroup. Left flank here. We can't get through their caster's bounded field. 
We'll need time to regroup too. Our charge won't be nearly as effective if we don't coordinate it. Damn it, I'll never be able to face Lady Krimhill like this. Krimhild? Isn't Krimhild? Yeah, I know about her too. She's a hero. No, a legendary figure. Hmm? Those guys were completely on the defensive. What changed? Urgent news, the Constantinos army from the reinstatement realm is in disarray. That's it. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's swoop in and take the spoils for ourselves. Maybe we should wait a little longer? Like right until they're about to be defeated? Hmm. No, let's not. The Revenge Realm's already been hit pretty hard. We need to at least get some good licks in with the Reinstatement Realm, too. Now, let's go. That's it. Keep it up. We've almost got Kremild's army wiped out. I, I have an urgent message. Charles the Great's army from the Righteous Realm has joined the fray. They've struck our rear guard from behind and sowed confusion among our ranks. Damn it, not again. They got Roland from the Legend of Charlemagne leading them. They're mowing down our rear guard like grass. Retreat, fall back to the reinstatement realm. There's no way we could fight a fight on two fronts. Assassins, use your smoke screens. Archers, lay down cover fire to buy us time. Keep firing. Longbows, crossbows, guns, whatever you've got. Don't stop except to reload. Constantino's servants are in retreat. It's time we followed suit. Casters, hold positions until the riders catch up with us. Then I want you to alter the topography and cut off any would-be pursuers. Understood. Do it! Mutate. Grimmelt casters have transformed our surroundings into swampland, Lord Roland. Hmm. We could have our casters freeze a swamp and go after them. But I think that's enough. Both sides suffered heavy losses, and we got in a few good shots at the reinstatement realm soldiers, too. The forces of Charles the Great's righteous realms are the only ones walking away unscathed. Now let's cheer our victory. Yeah! Being naked rocks. Y yeah! Did he really just say that? Shut up. Look, I want to say something too, but this isn't the time. Hmm? <gasps> hmm. Must have been imagining it. Alright, troops, retreat. Tonight, we're going nude till morning. N nude? It's alright, Miss Wilkie. Mr. Zlumpus. You can come out now. Whew, that was a close one. It never even came our way. I'm afraid you two were just unlucky. Fortunately, that also means we couldn't overhear anything. Most of the time may be destroyed, but a few buildings are intact. Let's find one such building and review what we've learned. <laughs> 